is Ash from Elevate My Faith and today I just am so grateful I get to share this story with you guys. Like I always hear this happening to like other people and didn't think it ever really like happened to me. So I'm just like in awe of what even just happened. So I'll just get into it and tell you guys how it went down. Um, so God reached me at a coffee shop today. Um, let me just give you guys a little bit of backstory before I get into that so you kind of can understand why this happened and why it's like so like crazy um so for the past few weeks i've been really struggling with letting god be my provider and um and just really like stressing myself out over finances because we're gonna get ready to try to have a baby eventually in, in like a couple months or so um maybe even sooner we'll see um and then uh, we will be going down to one income and have to drain our savings to pay off car loans so we can be on one income and so I just been really stressed out about all that and just not letting God be my provider. Um, so, uh, but I did feel peace uh, yesterday for a little bit over it because I went to church on Sunday and just kind of felt like the, the spirit, the Holy Spirit, I think, because I just felt really at peace about everything. It carried over into Monday. I felt good. I felt okay that, you know, our savings would get drained a bit and that we would have to just, you know, figure it out. and. I was okay and then later in the day I just went back to my panic anxiety fear mode of like this is uh, I don't know what to do I'm freaking out I don't know how to handle this like in the unknown like future and then today I went to the coffee shop with my friend and I ended up getting a cup of coffee and um, this is what the barista wrote on my cup um, so I hopefully you guys can see it because I don't really feel like trying to edit this into the video. It says, don't carry it all. Um, so I was just shocked when I saw that was written on my cup. I didn't even see it right away because it was facing away from me when they said on the table. And then my friend was like, oh look, they wrote on your cup. And I turned around and I was like, just shocked I saw that because they also didn't write anything on her cup. And I've been to this coffee shop like three times or so and they've never written stuff on the cups. Like, you know, it's not like just like a cutesy little thing they do. Like. So when I got this today, I was just like shocked and like I knew it was a reminder from God or like God reaching out to me saying like, you cannot carry this weight and burden on your own. Don't carry it all at me. And uh, I mean, I could like start tearing up now just thinking about it. It's just like, I just can't believe that happened to me today and to get that like reassurance and like touchdown from God from heaven about this. And it's just crazy how he reaches out to you in these small little random ways. So yeah, getting this like little moment from God really just like helps me like decide not to be stingy with my money because I obviously am having issues with that because I'm like, well, I need it for me and my future family and I need to save and all that. So I, I decided to pay it forward at the coffee shop. You can pay it forward and give five bucks or so to a like a cup of coffee to certain people. They have like a list of people you can donate to. So I picked a small business owner because I figured they deserve it because especially with inflation and stuff, it's really hard to run a small business nowadays. So I thought that'd be a good type of person to help out. So I did that and I wasn't like upset about losing the extra money like my old like self usually is and freaking out about all the extra money. Um, and then I even also donated to a like funeral um, for um, a person in my hometown that unfortunately passed away at 22. So they were covering expenses. So I saw that on Facebook today and donated towards that as well. So I just, it was just so good to like give and not care about the money for once. So I'm trying to take baby steps because I did talk about this issue at my church's like monthly meeting. I told the girls what I was going through and the one girl did suggest to start small with like letting God, like trusting God and things like with small things. So that way I can get to the bigger things. So I'm just going to start off small and really try to work on this like issue of not uh, like having the need to be in control of my money and, and like worry about myself and just actually letting God provide and to actually use money as a tool to help others and not just hoard it for myself. So I think I'm on the right track right now and I'm just so thankful for God to keep, he keeps reaching out to me and not giving up on me because I keep going through this cycle of trusting him and freaking out, trusting him, freaking out. So yeah, I just can't believe this all happened to me today. So yeah, I definitely just wanted to make this video today to like like pretty much like, you know, tell you guys that this can happen to you too. Cause I've always seen these like stories happening to other people or, or I just feel like God doesn't really speak out to me in ways. Like I don't hear him when I pray, you know, I don't really get thoughts or, or things like that much. Like other people can. So like just getting that like encounter, that was just no way a coincidence. You know what I mean? Like that was just like amazing to me. So 
I'm just glad like God is reaching out to me and um, which this is just why it's so important to keep pursuing and to like keep going to church, reading your Bible and just continue to pray to him about your struggles and worries because he will eventually reach out to you and like acknowledge you. So, um, so just don't give up and, and keep reaching out to him with your issues and problems. So yeah, I definitely told everyone in my family about what happened today and showed them the picture of the cup and like how it all just like came to be. And I think I just want to end the video on what my brother had to say. He said like, yeah, it's nice to be financially secure, but it's definitely better to be faithfully secure in Jesus and having faith in him. And I think that's so true because you could definitely be rich and not living a life for Jesus. And it's just all for nothing. Like I'd rather be poor and have faith in Jesus than be rich and not. So that's like definitely liked his words of wisdom on that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys as well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for checking out this video and I'll see you guys in our video. Bye. God is good. Sweet the song, the